high tea at the peninsula, it's a must do for the well-heeled traveller coming to Hong Kong. And that's because places like this offer an increasingly rare glimpse into Hong Kong's colonial past, a time when the sun hadn't set on the empire. Essentially, nothing really has changed here for the past 80 years. Well, for venerable old hotels like the Peninsula, keeping tradition alive is a key part of their success. And that's why New York's Plaza on Fifth Avenue closed its doors for a revamp for two years to keep the spirit of the place intact. The, at the apple of New York's eye, there's expectations from everybody around the world, from New York City and from, uh, from the staff as well. So it's, you know, there's no pressure involved, but uh, the stakes are very high. But that's what gets you up every morning and, and pushes you to do the best that you can. If we can get this polished, please. Nice and beautiful. Honey's there. You know the guest name. Thank you. It's a fine balance between um, guest experience and making sure the hotel is uh, fully functioning at 100%. Today we're again a full house because a lot of guests will probably um, attend the function and try to stay as long as they can in their rooms. Um, so please work very carefully with housekeeping in the front desk, make sure whatever they need. Before we were 805 rooms, now we're 282 rooms, so it's definitely a different uh, positioning. And so the challenges are obviously in the staffing, you know, you've got to find the, the best people out there to deliver the experience. Really just letting everybody know that we're back, we're the icon of New York, we have fantastic uh, rooms and it's a, it's a new five-star experience. We have definitely the high-end leisure travel that's coming from Europe, Asia, from the United States. It's the traveler that's looking for that extra five-star experience. And also the business travelers, we're looking at the CEOs of companies that will want to come to the hotel to do business in New York and make the multi-million dollar deal. We really need to focus on the personalized service and that's what we're about with the new plaza. The smaller guest room count, butlers on every single floor, gold-plated fixtures in all of the rooms. So really. We want to know you as a guest. You know, you've got the best of all worlds. You've got the Oak Bar restaurant, you've got the Palm Court that exudes the old world history of the plaza, you've got the new. The, 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 the movers and shakers of New York are going to come up to the Rose Club and sit there and make their million dollar deals, or you can sit down here in the Champagne Bar and sip on the finest champagne uh, that is available. What I love about our hotel is it has the sense of history, the 100 years, but it's poised through this $400 million to be ready for the next 100 years with brand new plumbing, heating, and it, it, uh, it's an icon of New York. This area is known as the Graham Street Markets in central Hong Kong. It's a place where you can get a little more of a traditional slice of the sights and sounds of this bustling city. When you're travelling on business, it is important to get out of your hotel room and to actually do a little bit of exploring. Well, Hong Kong socialite and businesswoman Paveen Crawford gives us her ideas now on what she does between sunrise and sunset. People think that Hong Kong is a concrete jungle, but outside Hong Kong Island and the main city area, there's a lot of greenery. You'd be surprised, but this is a hidden paradise. Well, here we are. We are at the Po Toi O village near Clearwater Bay. Not many people know about this place, and it has got the freshest seafood you can find in Hong Kong. We can actually pick our own seafood and have the chef cook the way we like it. Besides having um, a beautiful scenery, there's also hiking tracks here for people who like to hike. So you can kill two birds with one stone. Go hiking, get hungry, come on down and have your lunch or dinner. Good to see you. My brother, my sister-in-law, and my nephew. <laughs> this was the old Hong Kong. Actually, the whole of Hong Kong was like this before they change it to skyscrapers and neon lights and bars. I think we will, uh, we will uh, have it uh, deep fried. Deep fried cuttlefish. All right, they're ours, we're gonna eat them. Good. Okay, this is an alive sea, a sea urchin. And once they open it up, it is just a little messy yellow egg roll thing. <laughs> and the Chinese love to scoop it out and 
make omelets out of it. So we will be trying that later. Well, Potai O Village is a great place to go during the day, but at night we gotta go somewhere else. We gotta go back to where the action is. My favorite place is the China Club. They uh, serve great Chinese food, and the art and decoration in the club is magnificent. So, this is the terrace of the China Club building. And a look at this whole scenery behind me. We are right in the center of Central in Hong Kong. It is definitely one of my favorite places. Everybody that comes here, including friends and clients, we always bring them here. This is one of the places that I will always introduce to my clients and friends. And if you've only got time for just one thing in Hong Kong, well, maybe it should be this a trip on the famed Victoria Harbour. Well, that's it for this edition of CNN Business Traveller. I'm Andrew Stevens, reporting from Hong Kong. We'll see you next month. <laughs>